the Lord Almighty grant us a perfect night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read together Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You, with your own hand, drove out the nations, put but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm give them victory, but your right hand and your arm and the light of your countenance, for you delighted in them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you we push down our foes. Through your name we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes, and have put to confusion those who hate us. In God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Yet you have rejected us and abased us, and have not gone out with our armies. You made us turn back from the foe, and our enemy have gotten spoil. You have made us like sheep for slaughter, and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a trifle, demanding no high price for them. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, the derision and scorn of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. All day long my disgrace is before me, and shame has covered my face at the words of the taunters and revilers at the sight of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. Yet you have broken us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God, or spread out our hands to a strange God, would not God discover this? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Because of you we are being killed all day long, and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself! Why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake! Do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and oppression? For we sink down to the dust. Our, body, our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up, come to our help. Redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, verses 1 through 5 and 13. This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the Israelites before his death. He said, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned from Seir upon us. He shone forth from Mount Paran. With him were myriads of holy ones, at his right a host of his own. Indeed, O favored among peoples, all his holy ones were in your charge. They marched at your heels accepted direction from you. Moses charged us with the law, 
as a possession for the assembly of Jacob. There arose a king in Jerusalem when the leaders of the people assembled, the United Tribes of Israel. Of Benjamin, he said, the beloved of the Lord rest in safety. The high God surrounds him all day long. The beloved rest between his shoulders. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amy wrote a letter to her children as each became a teenager. In one, she talked about our identity in Christ, remembering that she, when she was a teenager, she felt unsure of, her, of herself, lacking confidence. She had to learn that she was God's beloved, his child. She said in the letter, knowing who you are comes down to knowing whose you are. For when we understand that God has created us and we commit to following him, we can be at peace with who he's made us to be. And we also know that he changes us to be more like him each day. A foundational passage from scripture about our identity as God's children is Deuteronomy 33:12. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him, for he shields him all day long, and the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. Just before Moses died, he proclaimed this blessing over the tribe of Benjamin as God's people prepared to enter the land. He promised them. God wanted them to always remember that they were his beloved and to rest secure in their identity as his children. Knowing our identity as God's children is equally important for everyone, teenagers, those in the middle of life, and those who have lived a long time. When we understand that God created us and watches over us, we can find security, hope, and love. Amen. Hymn 172. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they pierced him in, in the side? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life, may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains this, the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that your common life, that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our bishops, for this gathering, and for all who met, and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. 
I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed. Pray for those who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage, we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask for this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us walking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>